all of this will be my on location studio setup so allowing me to shoot outside with my flash and actually have a modifier for that flash i got four sandbags newer steel light stand 32 inch uh, beauty dish that I got, that's the foldable one. Zomi Fader ND filter, S-type Bowens bracket. The Young Nuo RF603 flash trigger. So this is the Studio Pro Travel Beauty Dish Bowens mount with grid, easy setup, white interior, and it's uh, 32 inches. So, hey, it even has a carrying bag, so that's nice. This is a folding up one, so that way, you can travel with it. We got the grid. Here is the inside, which is what makes it a beauty dish. And then we have the Octobox beauty dish right here. So this is just the outer diffusion, which is nice because it's Velcro as opposed to just things that would wrap around because this will actually stay on the Octobox then. The way that this thing works is you just push these tabs down to like click on in. And I'll probably do more in-depth videos on all these things. This is just a quick overview. All right, there we go. We're all in. And then there we go. We got ourselves a beauty dish here. Now, um, you can see that this is just held by one thing there. But yeah, that's the beauty dish. There is no inner diffusion. Okay, and this is something that I didn't realize. It's round. They have this like black trim to make it a perfectly round beauty dish here. And then if I want to control the light more, so I would put this grid on. You can see what a grid does here. If I turn it to the side, then it blocks the light out. So then there's, there's no light spilling to the edges here. And now we're going to check out the newer steel light stand here. I can already just tell just by looking at it and by feeling it. This is nice and heavy duty. And I picked a great day to film outside, huh? Got a helicopter school bus flying by. Helicopter flying by, school bus driving by. That's the correct terms. But yeah, metal knobs. There's almost no plastic here. There probably is no plastic at all and don't over tighten because that will oh it's soft closing i mean it's slammed down but you can see when i bring it down there's a spring there that's quite nice so we'll see that shoot up a bit there that's neat we got the light stand but it's like off to the side oh okay so i can either have it in the side or coming out the top here. So that's that's pretty neat. And then if I just flip it around, I have a quarter 20 thread, I believe this is, and um, a different threads. Now we got that nice light stand and I would have these sandbags filled, obviously, and I'd like wrap it around and keep that down low there. So the next up, we got the S-Type Bowens bracket. So then I can mount my flash to the Octobox because, I mean, how is this supposed to attach to all this stuff? That's where this comes in. It's all plastic, which is fine. But here's the bracket. The way that it works is you can just clamp your speed light down into it. Now you can see I can put this on my light stand here. All right, neat. So now I have this whole thing set up here. So then if I wanted to, I can you know turn this around and there's all that there. And then we got the accessories for my camera and this is what will allow me to um, essentially shoot with this. The problem with shooting outside with this setup is you have to have the sync shutter speed for the flash. So that's why I got this Zomi Fader ND Professional Optical Filter. I got this in the 77 millimeter thread and that's because my 24 to 105 is 77. And also, here's the 24 to 105 
This is a 77 millimeter thread. And then also my 70 to 200. So it comes in this plastic case. And then we have the, the filter by itself and inside this nice foam thing here. All right. <laughs> well, the notch is, is at the bottom for your uh, like measurement for where you're at on your fader. So this is the minimum. So you can see it's already cutting down light. And by the way, my settings are 60th of a second, F5 and 100 ISO. So this is at the minimum. So you can see how much light it cuts down. And then as I twist it, it'll get darker and darker and darker. I'm not at max yet. This is max. And this is where the X problem does happen, but you can't see through it. <laughs> so, but we got one last thing to open up here. And that is the Young Nuo RF603C Mark II trigger. I can also remote fire my, my camera with this flash trigger here. Uh, and let's see if I got the right one. I, I know I got the Canon one, but does it give me the right cable? No. Here are the Young Nuo flash triggers. I need batteries for these, dang it. <laughs> but we can at least show you these guys. These are the flash trigger Q. You can see how tiny they are. But the problem with, with these is that the distance isn't that good. There we go. Missed that one. Let's see if I, oh no, okay. That'll be it for this quick little unboxing and overview of my new setup. I still gotta fill the sandbags, but we can see here that we got a light that's working now. I hope the output will be powerful enough for broad daylight settings. I'll have to take you guys on location to a photo shoot, but that'll be another video. And I'll have more videos on each individual product of like a little in-depth review or something about that. So stay tuned for more videos from me and I'll catch you guys in the next video.